Recording. Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Finally, we see some sun here in Romania. We have 17 degrees here now. Although it's February, we see the signs of spring coming and uh, I had some errands to do. I had to deliver a pair of glasses to my wife because she could not leave the job and uh, she needed those glasses. So uh, I thought to seize the opportunity and uh, take up the BMW for a spin as I'm boiling inside me <laughs> to take it out. I did not have time as you know, you, I bought it uh, the end of last season. So I hope everybody is fine, everybody is doing okay. I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, although I did not have too much activity on the channel, I did not give up. I just did not have the time and the footage to upload it on the YouTube. Now it's okay, spring is coming, more and more footage will come. And uh, I have a lot of surprises, a lot of uh, very nice things to show to you. But for today, let, let me show you the, let me tell you about my experience so far with the BMW. As you might, might have expected, this motorcycle is absolutely incredible. I have never ridden something better on road in my life. This is pure and simple. Starting from the comfort to the engine, to the stability, to the range, then to the technology that it has inside, and the ease of driving and the ease of use it is just absolutely amazing i uh, i thought it was a little bit intimidating when i saw because i have the adventure version which is a little bit more wider here but uh, the more i ride it the more i get used to it and uh, it doesn't seem so intimidating anymore Plus, I'm not a small guy, I'm, a, I'm quite big, I'm quite a big guy and uh, I can manhandle this motorcycle pretty good. And uh, let me tell you that once you get going, once you get this bike moving, it is just like a scooter. It is incredible, it, it holds the weight so down low that you don't even feel 260 plus kilograms that it has it has the shift assister pro <laughs> i i almost don't use the clutch anymore and it has the distributing brakes i don't know how they how they are called also the right foot i forgot to use it i only use the front brake and uh, it autom automatically uh, engage the rear brake as well it is just so amazing being on a very high-end motorcycle with so much technology on it my wife is working on uh, on the highway now she's working on a highway in a plant and uh, I used the cruise control because it has the cruise control and uh, it's amazing. I've never, this is the first bike, the first motorcycle that uh, I have ever had with the cruise control. And let me tell you, it's absolutely amazing. The feeling that you have, the, the, the comfort that you get by using the cruise control. And I had some problems in the beginning with the cruise control because uh, I, I acted on it as if it were in the car. That means I, I pushed the brake or uh, uh, the lever, the brake, the front or the rear brake, but it's, uh, it's not okay because uh, uh, when it disengages the cruise control, 
the breaking can be very violent. But then I read the book, <laughs> of course, the manual, and actually the, the throttle has another position all the way into the front. And when you do that, the, the transition is very smooth. Now I'm on the cruise control. And as you can see, if I'm going forward, the transition is very smooth as expected, as in a car. And you can manually take control of your bike again. So this is what I learned by <laughs> reading the manual. It's very, very nice. Now I, I use it all the time uh, when, I, uh, when I take the motorcycle out. The range, oh my God. This motorcycle showed me with my driving style, full full tank of gas, it showed me 602 kilometers. Can you imagine 602 kilometers with one uh, full tank of gas? So it's it's incredible. It has a new USB adapter for the phone or to charge everything that you want. And I've installed, as you might see in this video. I've installed the, the Garmin uh, Zumo XT adapter. Now I'm using the same cradle and the Zumo gets power from this cradle. I did not have to do had to do any modification to it to give power to the to the GPS. Another thing that struck stroke me <laughs> are the brakes. The brakes are so nice and the telelever suspension is incredible. Why? Because when you use the brakes, you don't have that dive in front, that front dive that sometimes can be intimidating in some situation. But no, this suspension keeps the motorcycle very straight when you are riding and when you're braking. And this was a very nice thing to do uh, it, this was a very nice thing for me. Now, as I said, currently I'm running uh, street tires and uh, I did not take this motorcycle off-road. I intend to take it off-road, very light off-road, uh, maybe a strategic road or something else, but as, as a rule, I, I'm not planning to do any difficult uh, road, uh, off-road uh, stuff with it for that. I have the CRF 300L, but in order to take it off-road, of course, I will uh, put some off-road tires, some 50-50 tires. I already bought the Mitas E07, and uh, I don't know how it will behave. I don't know how is the feeling of not feeling that front dive, because in off-road, sometimes it's good to have uh, the front dive that means the, the the response the feedback from the terrain when you're uh, pushing the brake with this bike I don't know because it it's it's just not diving at all and uh, I hope it is not strange in any way it has seven riding modes you can actually put on your screen which is by the way fantastic you can put four of them so I have the rain road dynamic pro and enduro pro in the pro modes of course you can go and tweak the throttle response the, the brake the, I don't know many parameters I did not do anything about that but for sure when I will go uh, ride it in uh, off-road <gasps> shit it was an oil oh my god that was oil Whew. for sure I will uh, mess I will tweak the Enduro Pro oh my god I just shit my pants <laughs> sorry I will tweak the Enduro Pro mode uh, to suit my to suit my riding style uh, speaking, speaking about brakes because I just had to brake a little bit uh, this motorcycle, I, I'm not an expert, I'm just an end user, and but this motorcycle has some very advanced braking system. 
that allows you to safely break in almost any scenario that you could think of. In a corner, on a straight line, uh, accelerating, decelerating. And it has another system, very, very interesting system. It is the hill assist. As you see, now it's this H. When you push the front brake, this H appears and you will not go, uh, you will not go on the back. So basically it makes, um, uh, it makes the departure from a hill very, very nice and uh, emotions free. <laughs> Let's say like that. So overall guys, I'm super excited about this bike. I'm super excited about taking it to long adventures alone or together with my wife. Please stay tuned. Thank you for watching and tuning in for this short uh, update and review and uh, uh, thoughts about my uh, BMW. This is the initial thoughts that I have. Of course, there are many things to, to, be, uh, to be said about this bike, but I will tell you about them as time goes by and as I'm uh, getting more and more used to it. Now I'm going to eat the lunch and go back to work. See you guys, ciao.